Hey guys, I'd like to make this video about animals. Cause there's so much we don't know about them. And as my teacher used to say, If you don't know this, then get the hell out of the class! As if I didn't have better things to do than teach you wasting my time! So here are the top 10 mega interesting facts about animals. And we'll start with the bulls. We're all used to the fact that the bulls at the sight of red become crazy local things. And then it's better to stay out of their sight. So like that's exactly why bullfighters wave their red cape. But in fact, all bulls are colorblind. And they technically don't distinguish colors. So they react to red in the same way as they do to blue or green. They don't react. It's not the red cape that irritates the bull, but the very fact that someone is waving it in front of his nose. The bull thinks that it's some other aggressive bull and attacks it. But why is the cape always red then? Because it's spectacular for us. Boop. Well, and if a bullfighter is wounded in the belly through a red cape, it won't be that noticeable. The blue whale is really something. This giant sea monster reaches an average length of 33 meters and weighs 150 tons. But history knows a larger blue whale. It was caught by Norwegian whalers in 1926. With a length of 34 meters, the whale weighed 177 tons. Well, as they say, big people have a big heart. And our big blue whale's heart is also not small and reaches the size of an average car. And therefore, it beats not so fast either. Just nine times a minute. And if someone is not aware, a human heart beats as much as 72 times a minute. And since the blue whale is the largest animal on Earth, then perhaps it's the longest one. Hell no! The longest animal on Earth is Harry Cyanea, also known as the lion's mane jellyfish. With the dome of 2 meters long, its tentacles reach 37 meters in length. In short, if you flatten and kinda stretch a blue whale, that's about how it looks. Number 4. A quick disclaimer. Don't show the following to pregnant women, fish faint-hearted ones and embryos. Well, you never know. Because it's gonna be rough. It turns out that the embryos of the tiger shark and some other shark species fight for survival with each other in their mother's womb. And the winner gets birth by devouring all the others. As for the gingly mustamatide shark, also known as the nurse shark, it's freaking hell there! First of all, these sharks have both left and right uterus. And second of all, their unborn cubs can freely move around their uterus, which means that it's not a problem for them to swim into the neighboring one. And what the hell for? Right, to eat a brother or a sister. Number 5. Have you ever looked into the eyes of a goat, sheep or an octopus? Well, at least for the sake of seeing their rectangular pupils. Yep. They have a rectangular, or more precisely, a horizontal oval pupil, which helps them to see the widest possible panorama around them. Due to the elongated shape of the pupil, the goat, for example, has a viewing angle of almost 340 degrees. That is, when grazing, it easily observes what is happening around it, without even raising its head. Recent research reports suggest that a long horizontal pupil improves the image quality of objects in front and behind the animal, making it easier for them to move quickly over uneven or mountainous terrain or water. Number 6. Although the chameleon's eyes are not rectangular, they are also weird. And their weirdness is that they are fucking big, bulbous, covered with skin and move independently of each other. So it can look in two different directions at the same time, which means that its viewing angle is 360 degrees. Sometimes when searching for prey, it even examines the space with only one eye while the other one is absolutely motionless. A freaking sniper of the animal kingdom! Ostriches are number 7. Ostriches, whatever you may think, never hide their heads in the sand, especially in case of danger. What for? If they can reach a speed of 70 km per hour and in case of danger, simply run away. Well, then who came up with the idea that ostriches hide their heads in the sand? It was the Roman writer and philosopher Pliny the Elder, who wrote that the ostrich partially buries itself in the sand when it feels threatened. But in fact, he was just probably confused. And this very ostrich was doing something completely different. For example, looking for grass to eat, looking for a suitable pebble in the sand, which is necessary for effective digestion, lowering his head closer to the hot sand to get rid of insects, or just listening to the vibrations of the soil, which report danger. The eighth place is taken by mosquitoes. Did you know that it's only female mosquitoes that bite because they need protein to lay their eggs? 
When choosing a victim, a female mosquito is guided by the heat radiation and the smell of lactic acid contained in the sweat. So if you're always cool and don't sweat, then mosquitoes shouldn't scare you. Then what do male mosquitoes eat? Male mosquitoes feed only on flower nectar. The ninth place is taken by my favorite penguins. Remember their weird skeleton? Well, that's not all. Penguins live in Antarctica and spend most of their lives surrounded by snow and ice. Since penguins have simply nowhere to get fresh water from, they've learned to desalinate salty seawater. To replenish the body's water reserves, the penguin simply drinks seawater, and a special supraorbital gland removes exceeded salt from the penguin's blood. Thanks to this, blood gets a normal salt balance, and the penguin sneezes out a concentrated solution of filtered salt through its beak. Hey, how do you like the party? <coughs> well, it's pretty fine, except that these fur seals are always trying to rape you. <coughs> what? Yeah, didn't you know? Here, look. This. I wanted to say in the 10th place that polar bears never eat penguins. Well, because penguins live in Antarctica and the surrounding areas, while polar bears live only in the Arctic. But the fact that the fur seals rape penguins in front of other penguins… Yeah, man, we're just nothing compared to that. Hello, your brother is being porked here. Maybe at least kick his ass for this. Ah, screw you, pussies. Well, this is all for today. Now live with this information. It was Brock from Broccoli Academy. And thank you for watching. Well, guys, if the video was informative, leave your likes and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And scribble in the comments how many and which of these facts you already knew. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, or no one will believe you, especially about fur seals and penguins.